well. All right then. Okay, we got the dipstick out, and it's probably not going to come out all too clear. Exactly where the oil is. Yeah, you can't tell, but, um, right there, at the top of the L, is where it was. And your full line is all the way up here. It's not going to focus, but that's where it should be. Not down here at the L. Uh, that's probably why it was backfiring so much, and probably why the uh, she doesn't like to run without the choke on. So yeah, uh, she definitely needs oil, cause if not, it's gonna blow up running this dry. And, I don't know, it's been almost, like, I want to say between three to five years that I've had this thing, and I've never once changed the oil. And I am now. So, like, yeah. The old Kohler K-Series, that's the way to go. Um, I, I've beaten the crap out of this thing. It's taking a whole lot and it's still going so yeah colder case series I gotta fix that air filter that shouldn't be like that after I do the oil see if there's any oil that actually even comes out Mm, a little bit. Kind of surprising it's pretty much the color it should be. It's a bit on the light side though. But, uh, yeah, it's alright. Yeah, there definitely wasn't that much oil left. Definitely not. While the last bit of oil is in there, just throw this cover back onto the air filter. Holy crap, I tell. Oh, caked in mud. Okay. That would, that would definitely explain why. Just throw this back over. It looks slightly burnt. I'm guessing that's just dirt. More likely than not, it's just dirt. It's rubbing off the carb. Should probably clean that one of these days. <laughs> She's alright so far, though. I can't have that hair in there. I mean, I can't. It's not going to bother it, but... Uh. Oh my god. How's the oil? A little bit left still. It's gonna be a long vid jacket, I can already tell. Now, the sad thing is, I haven't spent that much time under the hood of this tractor, which is actually a plus sign. Um, plus side, not a plus sign. This isn't math class. Okay. Anyway, I haven't spent much time under the hood of this tractor, which is a plus side, because it means I haven't done much work to it. Uh, the only downside is I don't know much of the parts and everything. I know spark plug is constantly an H10C and that should probably be tightened. Or is that tight as it gets? That's as tight as it gets. Okay. I don't know. A lot of people just hand tighten these. A lot of people actually tighten them. I think you should probably actually tighten them. But, 
uh, that way it doesn't send it out and up through the hood. Not like it would go up through the hood, but it would just ruin that. And yeah, um, I should tighten that. Well, I kind of broke it, and uh, I yeah okay. Um, let's see, oh, that one's used. That's not. Oh, okay. That's why you always have extras. So I'm gonna have to stop and hit the hardware again, cause uh, yeah. Let's uh try and. Oh, I made that worse. Okay. Oh, perfect. That's amazing. That that pulled apart just like it did. That is not gonna come out, is it? broken spark plug out um, as you can see this thing is quite burnt anyway so it's about time for a new one uh, I want to cry new spark plugs in uh, just remember folks if it's too tight it's broken very very broken Alrighty, it's just a slight drip now for the oil, so, um, one second. Brand new, fresh in box, check this thing out. It even makes weird noises that it shouldn't. Uh, look at that, 19 cents if you want it. Uh, contact me in the comments and you could be the winner of this for, uh, 19 cents. Alright, we're just going to take a little bit of this oil and uh, go on around the outside here. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. A bit more because too much doesn't hurt. And then around the inside there. Oh boy, alright. Put this back on. Take the dipstick back out. As you can see, well, maybe not. Um, oh. see if I can get it in the shade. Ah, oh. maybe you can see it now. Where the oil was. Uh, extremely low. Too low. Throw your cone and. And fill her up. Now, this is a bit cheaper since it's Quaker State, but uh, I always run 10W30 in my machines. It's just what I find best. And I picked uh, high mileage this time because uh, it's been a while since I've changed the oil on this. And it's an older engine, so. Nine times out of ten, I would go with Valvoline, only because it's better for the engine. But, uh, Quick State, I mean, I'm going to try it out here. And, uh, it's engine oil, you know, it's, it's not going to make too, too big a difference. And, she should be fine. Okay, so, uh, since I don't have really anyone to hold the camera or anything... I just kind of went and filled it myself um, without recording. And yeah, she's full now. So. Alright, I just got done filling her up on gas, too. Um, I'll throw this here. Maybe the other side, the other side, and one better. Huh? Alrighty. Now, uh, this here, this tractor is still going to need uh, tubes in these rear tires because these rear tires. They're still in good shape, like, there's no dry rot, they're practically brand new. Uh, I filled them up, I filled them so they're a little soft, because it said 20 PSI, and I don't even know. Um, it's, it's air, it's better than riding on the rim like it was. Um, definitely throw tubes in them, and then um, go from there. 
I need new front tires because these, if there's wet grass or snow or something, mud, you have no grip in the front. Well, I wouldn't say none, but slim to none, pretty much none, especially snow. Um, like wet rocks even, wet grass, it's okay in, but I just need better fronts and hopefully they'll be tubed too. Um, I don't know if I said anything about uh, the light bar, but I was looking at a light bar for right in there. It's like 30 bucks. That'd be all right idea. Um, I still gotta grease the fittings. That's a really good idea. I think I'll hose this puppy off. That way, uh, you know, I could just, water is on, right? No. Okay, it is. But yeah, that way, it's gonna be easier to get to everything and all that. And I do believe I have all the tools off, so. Ooh. Alrighty. It's kinda hard to do with one hand, I got it though. There it is. Ooh. She's red. Not brown. What happened? Alrighty, I just got done washing her down. She's pretty clean now. She's drying pretty fast because it's uh it's quite warm out here. Different spots you can see it's drying faster. Um Got pretty much everything. The underneath was kind of difficult, especially since all this water just builds up right in here. Um, I got the underneath pretty good, though. <sighs> Trunk's pretty clean. The fenders. The fenders were where most of the mud. Because of the tires. Um, the seat's not completely. It's just the seat, though. The seats. I didn't wash it all that great. It's fine um yeah i did all in there oh yeah water falling out inside of the hood and here because of all the muck and mud that was up to here on the thing it was just sitting in there there was some of the mud sitting on the transaction right, shut what am i doing i'm doing something wrong i see it already Uh, yeah, all the mud that was thrown up on the front is pretty much off. I missed a few spots right down in there, but it's pretty much done. Inside to the wheels, outside to the wheels. All in through here, every, all the mud that was kicked up in the brake. Down the wheel horse logo on each side. Yeah, you can see this is already drying up. But if you sit, take a look, that's from the, uh, mud sitting. And then, uh... It dries on, and then you go out and you ride it, and the sun's hitting off of it, and it just kind of like leaves it tanned. Um, so, if you do mud, your best idea is to uh, come home and wash it off as soon as possible, or else you end up with just spots all over. And, I mean, that just kind of happens. Um, yeah, after this dries off, I'll grease all the fittings, and, uh, maybe I'll, uh, I'll move it out of here because all this water that's sitting, what's this, on this grass. Alright. Yep, she kind of shines again, so, I'm happy. It's a few minutes later now, and I'm looking at it, and, like, everything is drying, and the mud's still there. So I might have to like soap it down and then wash it off, which is going to be a pain, but I might as well do it. So uh, <clears throat> soaped her up and uh, washed her down. There's still some more suds and stuff, but um, brought back the red pretty good. Um, you're not seeing like the mud spots like from before, um, not as bad. And, um, yeah, I think if you just... You wash down with some soap, um, 
that'll just get the extra spots. Um, there's not like the runny marks on my flag anymore. There's, uh, but like I was saying with the spots on the hood, the spots on the fenders are gone even. There's still some suds I have to wash off, but I'm just saying for like right now, this is all right. I, just some Dawn dish soap and a garden hose, and it brought back the red pretty good. So like, I think that if I'm gonna continue washing this thing, uh, that's, that's what I'm gonna use from now on, you know? Um, like I didn't even realize before, there was still stuff on the dash, and it was like caked on mud still. And uh, yeah, threw some of that on. It's gone now. Uh, but yeah, like I said, there's still some more suds I have to wash off, and then uh, and then it's pretty much done. Uh, then I could get to the uh, tightening down the motor mounts because I totally forgot about that and uh, greasing the fittings. This one here is uh, pretty simple. It needs some feedback on the engine, but uh, yeah, all it was is this round thing. Ah, uh, take your vice grips to it, tighten it down. I thought maybe there'd be a nut or something up under here, but there isn't. It just bolts down in. So it's just this one over here that's going to be the tricky one. Let's see if I could. Yeah, this part right here is uh, supposed to be into the frame, so uh, let me get over there. Yeah, it's up out. This is supposed to be in here, I do believe, but I don't think it can be only because of, uh, if you look here, that's right there instead of, like I, it would have to be bent somehow. Uh, I'll try and figure something out and I'll let you guys know, because like, it can't be that big of a deal because it's bolted down on that side over there and over there there's nothing here and this is just there so I mean maybe it's safe the engine doesn't really move so I can shake the engine and the whole tractor moves with it so, I think I'm fine. Alright, yeah, it's not going to go into there only because of the angle. So, it's gonna. I'm going to hook it on underneath here and just tighten it down. And uh, that should pull that together and just go from there. I mean, then it would be bolted down in three different spots instead of two. And I'd feel safer about that. That paints. Yikes. Okay. Alrighty, it isn't exactly where I wanted it, but I couldn't quite fit anything in there while I was tightening that down, so, um, it's, it's on there, There's, it's not moving any, so, I'm mostly happy about that. This one's tight now, and, uh, this one's still tight on there, I do believe, I don't know, can't even get my fingers on it, so, it's two, three. The one over there is not on there because there's like no room, but um, I'm better with three than I was with one and two loose ones. Uh, I better leave that open so I could get him to grease everything. Uh, let me go grab that. I went around it. Everything's greased better now. The steering's not nearly as bad. It goes clunk, 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 clunk a little bit, but that's because of the missing teeth. I think I might actually shoot that one more time, and, uh, then, uh, I don't know. Start it up. Yeah, start it up. I still gotta do that. Now, that should be good. Uh, still a bit clunky. Again, that's probably just because of the missing teeth down in there. Um, yeah, start it up. Um, I don't know if I did mention, because this has been like an all-day video, but um, I did put more gas in it. So, she's full-on gas, full-on oil. I don't know what I get the wet seat for. 
get this rag shirt here. Let's try and soak that up. That's not, oh, that's not helping much at all. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's, oh, yeah. I think it's fine. I think it's fine. Kind of don't want to step with these on there, but I kind of have to. Oh, my God. Alrighty. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to set this here. Let's put it down. Oh my god, you don't want to see that. I guess that'll have to do. Alright, here we go. There we go. Might just shut off. But that's the uh, first time she started with new oil. Not too bad. She still wants to run with the choke on though, with the higher throttle. So, uh, I'll have to try and get that figured out. I'm pretty sure it's with the carburetor. She won't wheelie, 
It's probably because the belt's still wet. At least I'm thinking it is. Nine times out of ten, she will. So I'm thinking it's the wheelie. And yeah, sure. The belt. I'm thinking it's the belt. If it's not, then it's the power that's going to the engine. Because uh, she's not running right. And it could just be because it's... Uh, it's a 1976, I ain't even gonna do the math right now. 40 some year old odd tractor. Uh, maybe it's time for a new engine? I don't know. a whole lot better. Alrighty folks, thank you for watching and uh, see y'all.